Good morning everyone. It's Bobby at the Paper Jungle. I wanted to share with you this morning a little envelope flip album. Um, I got together with Gail Crafts, the Happy Stamper. She's also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And we decided to make a little album, a little small album, using envelopes uh, just to commemorate your Christmas morning pictures. There are some large albums out that people have made to commemorate the whole month of December, but I know me, I would get busy doing other things and I'd forget and then I'd have a lot of empty spots in my album. So I wanted to do something on a smaller scale. And at my house it's always been the hubbub of the activity is always Christmas morning when the kids are getting all their presents. So this one I have started to make. Uh, I have only done the back part of it so far. But I wanted to leave the front open so I could show you how I put it together. And this is the back side and it folds up this way and I have some others here that I have already <clears throat> excuse me completed this one is with Stampin' Up! papers and supplies but the um, the little snowman on the front uh, is not it's uh, a digital image that I already had and I just cut out uh, a little banner I just printed it on my uh, print program and backed it with another banner of uh, gold glimmer paper and added a little heart to it. And then when you open it up, <coughs> I used these little trees uh, from one of the Stampin' Up! punches and the glitter uh, foam to put a little hill of snow. And then this picture uh, will fit behind it. And then each one of the envelope pockets has an insert also for a picture and I have a little stamp that says place photo here that I've had for years and this came from a place called Stamps by Judith and then I punched the little photo slots in the corner and put a journaling tag on the back of each one <coughs> what's with my voice this morning it sounds scratchy let me get this back in here And then here I have a flip, and this has a tag on it, and it's just held with the, um, what do you call them, poinsettia leaves, I guess. No, not poinsettias, holly leaves and berries. And the tag, you can put a picture or journaling or whatever you want on the back of it, and it just slips behind there. And then on this page, I have um, the pine cones. It's a uh, die set from Stampin' Up. This is just an old Martha Stewart punch that I had. And I just made a pocket there for two tags. And then on this one, I just used the Hang Your Stocking die cuts. And this page is also got a flip. And I used the brick wall uh, embossing folder and just topped it with a little um, of the Craft White ink and cut out some sand legs to stick behind there so it looks like he's going down the chimney and this is another image that I had for years and I added some of Stampin' Up's little holly leaves and berries and put a little of the glimmer on it and then on the inside I just used the Noel and uh, one of their ornaments I think it's um, delicate ornaments so that's how a finished one looks and then I just attached a button and wrapped the twine around it <clears throat> and I used the little uh, metal embellishments from Stampin' Up! this year. This one's got bells on it and it comes with um, bells. Here's the bells. It has a little gingerbread man and there's another one in there. Oh, it's the little leaves. I guess it's the holly leaves. Anyway, that's what I used on there. I wanted to put the bells on it. I had them out, but I couldn't get the thick whisper white twine that I'm using today to fit on there. So, anyway, that's that one. This is another one that I did, and I just tied it up with their green ribbon, and I used a, a tree that I already had in my stash and I used silver glimmer this time with the star and I did put the um, what do you call that liquid um, 
I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, I have a tree on this one with some little ornaments um, that I had in my stash. This has a flip up too, and it has two smaller picture inserts here that's held by one of the die cuts from Stampin' Up! And I'll have all the supplies listed for you. Uh, there's two tags in this pocket as well, and uh, photo mounts. I need to stamp, stamp place your photo here on those. And this is just a little, little waterfall book that has journaling on the back of each page. So, and it folds up like that. And then I have one more that I made. And these are made with, whoops, I went backwards. These are made with um, some of the retired paper. When I first make one, I like to use the retired paper till I get everything like I want it. And you can see I've got one of the little cookie um, kids on there. Gingerbread. And I've used the thick whisper white. And the first one I made was this one. And I left the flap on it. But it covers a little bit of the front when you get it tied up completely. So what I decided on the other one was uh, was to cut that flap off. And just fold it up and tie it with um, either ribbon or... Okay, here's the inside of this one. And this is all retired paper. This one has three tags in it. This one has two picture mounts in it, and they also have journaling tags on the back. This one says, May Your Christmas Be Merry and Bright. And you can always add something down here and, and put some more photo mounts in there if you want to. This one has a corner pocket with a little tree that I had in my stash. And I've added little journaling spots to the back of each one. <coughs> this one is a side pocket with two more journaling tags. And of course, each one of them has the insert with the picture. And then there's just a tag here. And it says Joy, and that's cut with a white glimmer paper. So, what I have done on today's project is just the outside. And I wanted to show you, I left the inside blank so I could show you how to put them together. This is just four envelopes. And I scored each one at a quarter of an inch and then glued it to the next one so that the the flap of this one is up under here like so a lot of people cut them off but I like to leave the whole flap it just gives you more room to adhere it and it makes it more stable I think and then I have cut off the last flap here so here we go What you're going to need is um, the four pieces for the outside need to be four by just under five and three quarters. And it just leaves you a small border around the edge. And I did ink each one of them. I went sponged around them uh, with crumb cake. And then on the inside, you'll need four pieces that are four by five and a half to make your pockets. And you'll want to put an inch and a half notch in there. That's an inch and a half circle. And they'll get adhered down like this. But what you need to do at this point is decide if you want any flips because they need to be added first. And I have sponged each one of them as well. So this one I did wishing you a joyful Christmas. And that's going to be one of the flips. And you want to adhere it before you put your base page down just center it where however you want it to be like so and I'll add a little glue to it <coughs> now when you glue these down to each page you want to put your Tombow or whatever you use on these three sides and then you'll want to put some in here to make sure that this adheres on the back of that. So we'll put this one down. Oop, it'll go around there. Put a little bit in the middle there and get it kind of close to your edge but you don't want it to run over and seal up your envelope. center this on here I 
like so. And then I like to use, uh, you can use your bone folder. I usually keep an old, I've got an old um, target card here that I use like a squeegee. I don't know what I just dropped. And I just squeegee it up and down, back and forth to make sure my glue is distributed. And then lift up and make sure that you didn't get any glue seeping under there. And that one's fine. Okay, now on this one we can go ahead and seal it down. see what I'm doing. It's hard to tell sometimes when you're doing a video if you're in the right place or not. Okay, and there's that one. Okay, and that one's good. <coughs> and we're going to seal this one down. And this will have, you know, anywhere from um, six to eight photo mounts in there so you can take pictures of the kids and preserve your Christmas morning memories. Okay, I don't have any glue right there. I want it to go up to the edge anyway. There we go. Okay. Yeah, wants to get in the way. And if you get any glue seepage, which I sometimes tend to do, and I did right here a little bit, just dab it with a baby wipe, and it'll take it right away. Okay, now on this last one, let me make sure that I don't have any seepage there. Okay, that's good. Okay, and on the last one, I did um, the ho-ho-ho, and that came from... Um, Greetings from Santa, this ho 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 here. And then I took the, and I didn't bring the other one in here. Um, there's a stamp set, and I'll list it on my um, description. I think it's called Peaceful Pines, and it has a tree in it that looks uh, like it's got snow on it. I just used it after I did the ho 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 and the um, stars here that are in the stamp set. I took that tree and just um, daubed it down so it looks like snow's falling in the background and I just twisted the tree around going go in different directions. And then I uh, ran the embossing folder through with a, um, it's the brick wall with a scrap of the, um, I think it's crumb cake, it might be tip top taupe. They're so close in color it's real hard to tell until you put them right together. But then I just took my sponge and drug it over with a white ink and the little Santa's feet um, if you have the cookie cutter punch, you can use that. I don't have it, so I just um, used one that I had. Uh, just a, a photo that I had from years ago, and I just cut his body off and saved his feet and put them on there. So this one's going to get, oops, going to get glued down to here, and that'll give us our second flap. And then we'll glue that down to the card. And you can embellish these any way you want. You know, any stamps, dies, papers, whatever. You know, just let your imagination take you wherever. There's no right or wrong way or certain stamp set or die set to use. You can use anything. Just decorate it up till till you like the results and then that's the way it, it needs to be whatever looks good to you that's what matters and there's that one and 
Okay, and I saw a little spot of glue right there. Okay. So then that flaps over that. And then I've got the inserts that I had already made. And they all say, I place photo here. And then there's a journaling spot on the back. And then these will slide in there. one um, to use on the front of one page. Okay, so there's the basics. Hope you can see it all. And then you can start to decorate however you want. Now I've got three little trees that I used to tree punch with. And I stamped them with the white ink as well like I used uh, over here. Now, oh, where's the other tree? There it is. I'm starting to get glue on my fingers. Let me clean my fingers off here. Otherwise, I'm going to stick to everything. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a piece of this foam down here at the bottom and put my trees on that, and then I can put another. And if you glue the foam only at the bottom, that's crooked a little bit. Let me straighten it up. If you glue it just at the bottom, then you can stick another picture mount behind it. I'm going to curve this over a little bit instead of at such a point. There we go. Now I want the trees to be attached to the foam, so I'm just going to put... Actually, I think it'll be easier to do it Once I you get some Tombow on here, I'll be able to get better placement once I put the foam down. So I'm going to put that right along at the bottom. And I've got a feeling you guys can't see what I'm doing. There, I put the foam right along the bottom here. And then I'm just going to put a tiny dab of glue on the bottom of the tree. So it'll stick to the foam. I don't want glue to show. third one. Just on the bottom of the trunk. And I'll put this one down here on the edge. Okay. And then when that dries, I want to wait on the um, glue to dry under the foam. Then this will slide under it. Or you can cut a smaller one. And you can use this elsewhere, whatever you want to do. Okay, and then on this one, I wanted to use the stockings from Hang Your Stocking. And I've cut those out with the dies from Stampin' Up! And I'm just going to um, add a little glue along the edge. if it'll come out. But this stuff dries up on the the tip of it real quick. And you have to keep cleaning it off. Okay. And we'll mount the red on top of the 
they have the solid form and the cutout form of the stocking. <coughs> so that allows you to place the cutout over the other one and gives you more dimension in a two-tone stocking. I'm going to dab over this just a second. I see a little bit of glue. I don't want to leave me a shiny residual. But you don't want to get it wet. You just want to dab the glue off. And then I've got this top I cut out of the glitter fun foam. And I'm going to put that at the top of the stocking. There's the little dog checking me out to see what I'm doing. Can you hear the clicking little toenails on the floor? He always thinks he has to be right where I'm at. Okay. And then I'll glue these down just at the bottom of each stocking so that I can slip a photo mat behind it. I'll, I'll cut some smaller ones like I did in the one album that I showed you. Alright, this one's more solid, so I can put the glue actually on the back of it. That other one was really cut out. Had a lot of design in it. Okay, we're getting the glue on it. I'm going to put this on the green stocking. Now this, uh, this one is just a little bit bigger. But once you put the top on the stocking, I mean, you can cut it off if you want to, but I didn't see any point in that because this is going to cover it. Just gives you more surface area to stick it down to. Okay. Now I'll put some glue just around the foot part of the stocking. And that way I can stick a photo mount under that. And I'll put it down here. Whoops. Knocked it over. And I'll do the same thing with the smaller stocking. But the stockings need to stay near the bottom portion of your page so you have so when you stick your photo mount under it. It's not going to ride way out there. That came off. It's not dry yet. Okay. So that takes care of those. Now I have some of the little holly berry and leaves that I cut out. And these are done in Cucumber Crush. And I'm just going to put a little dot of glue right on the tip of them. because I want to cut out some well, I've got some tags I can use that I cut out put that one there and a little bit on there oops that's not enough okay I think I'll use a third one just to give me more surface area to cover it. I think that one go a little sideways. And then I've got some berries that I did in real red. And this paper pack is um, DSP is Candy Cane Christmas or Candy Lane, something to that effect, but you'll see it in the catalog. It's really, really pretty. It's all reds and whites and tans. It's a really pretty paper pack. Now, and you can also adorn these if you want to, and they'll just stick right, right up under the holly bearing leaves, and I'll add some baker's twine to them. You can put at least three under there, but I want to let it dry before I leave them there and then I'm going to do the same thing over here underneath the Santa flip I want to put some holly berries under it let me move this baby wipe so I don't get it wet 
So we'll put these, and I've got one more little berry. Let's see if this is dry yet. Where's my, there's my target card. I'm going to slip it under these trees and make sure that they didn't stick, the trees didn't stick the foam down there. I want it to stay loose. Okay. It's not quite dry yet, the foam, so I'll leave that out for now. Okay, so let's attach these three little berries. Or holly leaves, I should say, and the berries. Wiggly, go lay down, buddy. I'll be done in a minute. Go lay down in your bed. <laughs> he gets beside himself. He thinks he needs to be wherever I am. He's just a little boy. Go lay down, man. Go on. And there's the third little berry leaf. This holly berry stamp set and die is so cute. I've used it a lot. And I'm going to put a little dot of glue right there for the berries. And stick that down. Okay. There we go. And then see these will go. We can put three more tags in here. Like that. And uh, we've got the real pretty Baker's Twine that's red and white. I've uh, got some glitter in it, and I'll use that on the tags. So there is your album, and it folds from the right-hand side like this. And then you just tie it up with your baker's twine and your little, little cookie cutter guy. And just wrap it up and tie a bow. Isn't that just the cutest thing? And it's it's on such a smaller scale that most people are going to be able to get that done. But I wanted to share that with you, and as soon as Gail posts her video, I'll uh, add a link to the bottom of my video so that you can see what she created as well using the same process. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. I hope to see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.